Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to focus on finding the inverse matrix of a two by two matrix. So here is the problem. I have matrix A, and you can see it right there, uh, has entries four, one, two, negative two. And we want to find the inverse of matrix A. Okay, so there is a formula that you need to know, and I'll give it to you in a uh, second here. But if you could figure this out, okay, if you know the formula, if you want to look up the formula, I think that's uh, fair. But see if you can actually apply the formula. And if you can find the inverse matrix, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just a moment. And then, of course, I'm going to show you the formula. And then we're going to apply the formula to solve this problem. And this is something that you absolutely need to know how to do, especially if you're taking like Algebra 1, Algebra 2. If you're studying matrices, you're going to have to know how to find the inverse matrix. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer here. Now, uh, you know, just based upon what the title says, inverse matrix. So we are going to have a matrix, right? We're looking for a matrix as our answer. So what is that inverse matrix? Let's go ahead and see that right now. The answer is the following. So given that matrix A, its inverse is the following matrix. Uh, one fifth, one tenth, one fifth, negative two fifth. These are the entries, respective rows and columns of this particular matrix. So how did you do? Okay, well, if you got this right, that is fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know exactly how to find the inverse of a two by two matrix. Okay, now some of you out there are saying, yeah, I could do this, I just forgot the formula. So let's go ahead and take a look at the formula and then you can go ahead and try this problem again. So here is the formula for uh, the inverse matrix of a two by two matrix, okay? So here is basically how we wanna interpret it. So given a two by two matrix with uh, its entries, A, B, C, D, okay? Its inverse is the following. Okay, so I'm not gonna fully explain that because I'm showing you the uh, actual formula right now. Of course, I'm gonna explain this in just one second, but um, anyways, can you interpret this formula? Okay, do you know what this means right there? Okay, hopefully you do. And of course you can kind of just see, hey, we have these uh, respective uh, variables and they're kind of shuffled around a bit here, but you need to know what this is. And uh, if you know how to do this, you're like, oh, okay, I remember that. We'll go ahead and give this problem a try again. Uh, here is the uh, matrix A and see if you can produce this answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the actual work right now. So here's our matrix A. So what we have to do is simply follow this formula. Okay, so to find the inverse of matrix A, we have to uh, just take this formula step by step. So the first part of this formula is right here. We have one over this thing right here. So what is this? This is the determinant of A. Okay, so this is what this means right here. You know, we kind of write it as debt A. This is the determinant of matrix A. Okay, so anytime you have like these bars, they look like absolute value bars. We have to find the determinant of this uh, matrix, whatever our given matrix is. And we have that given matrix right here. So we're going to write that right here. So we have one over the determinant of four, one, two, negative two. So that's this one over um, the determinant of A. And that's going to be multiplied by this right here, D, negative B, negative C, negative A. And this part of the formula, good way to think about this is the following. Take a look at these uh, diagonals right here. We have C and B. So we still have C and B right here. It's just the opposite. Okay, so whatever you have on this diagonal, just put neg put the opposite signs. Okay, if it's negative, it becomes positive. If it's positive, it becomes negative. That's what this is. And then along this diagonal right here, this gets flipped. Okay, so A goes to where D's at and D goes to where A's at. Okay, so you're going to flip here 
And then on this one here, you're going to be thinking opposite. So this is important because if you're taking a test, you know, sometimes you're not allowed to have your little uh, formula with you. So you just need good ways to remember this, you know, uh, now, this isn't something that I would suggest that you remember all the time because, you know, you can always look up this formula. But anyways, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to flip across the diagonals this way, and we're going to take the opposites this way of our original matrix, right? So we're going to flip uh, right here. Okay. Nope, not flip. Excuse me. We're going to flip these guys, and then these ones here, we're going to take the opposite. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right. So let's start with this. We'll take the opposite here, so this would be negative 1, negative 2. Okay, so we had a positive 1, positive 2, negative 1, negative 2. And then right here, we're going to flip these two entries. So negative 2 is going to go here, and 4 is going to go here, and you can see that right there. Okay, so that is the uh, first you know, part of this, is really make sure you have the proper setup. And before you get going any further, always double check, make sure you plug in everything correctly. Um, it's, I don't know what it is about um, matrices, okay, in particular, um, but students uh, tend to make a lot of little arithmetic errors when it comes to matrices, right? Multiplying matrices, determinants, all that kind of stuff. It's probably because you're just doing a lot of writing. So always double check before you start doing uh, anything. And what we need to do now after we set this up is we need to calculate the determinant of this two by two matrix. All right, so let's go do that right now. So how do we find the determinant here? It is very easy. All you need to do is literally multiply this times this. Okay, it's a diagonal uh, product, so it's going to be 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Okay, and then we're going to multiply or subtract away the product of here. 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so hopefully you know how to find uh, the determinant of a two by two. If you do not, if you need help with anything matrices, I'm going to direct you towards one or two of my courses. Um, either my, I, I teach some of this stuff in algebra one, but really go to my algebra two or pre-calculus course. I really get into everything you will need to know. I do have additional videos on my YouTube channel as well, but it's important that you know how to find the determinant of a matrix and a two by two is very easy. Okay. So again, this is going to be, let me kind of uh, show you this again, right here, negative 8. Okay, remember it's 4 times 2. That's going to be negative 8 minus 2 times 1 is 2. And that, of course, gives us negative 10. That is the determinant of this 2 by 2. Okay, so now we're going to plug that negative 10 in uh, for our result right here because that's what we just found, the determinant. So we have 1 over negative 10. And now we're going to do what we call scalar multiplication. So, oops, I didn't want to do that. Uh, let me kind of get back to this marker. Okay, so we're going to take this 1 over negative 10, and we're going to distribute this in to each of the entries. Okay, so this is scalar multiplication. Again, this is stuff that hopefully you know what you're, uh, you know, know what to do. If you're studying how to find the inverse of a matrix, then, you know, scalar multiplication, all this stuff is like basic stuff. All right. Again, anything you don't understand, refer to those suggestions I just told you. Okay, so I'm going to take this negative 10, negative, I'm sorry, 1 over negative 10, excuse me. Let me erase this here. And we're going to multiply it by each one of these entries. So 1 over negative 10 times negative 2 will produce a 2 over 10. Okay, so this times this negative 2 is another 2 over 10. 1 over negative 10 times this negative 1 is a positive 1 over 10. And 1 over negative 10 times this 4 is going to be a negative 4 tenths. And we can see we have these fractions in here that we can reduce. So we'll reduce them down. This will be 1 fifth. This will be 1 fifth. This is okay. That will be negative 2 fifths. And that's what we have here as our final answer. Okay, so lots of things that you need to know uh, when you are studying uh, matrices. Uh, matrices, okay, and everything associated with them is a huge, huge topic in mathematics, okay? And uh, for some of you that might be interested, there is um, a, de a definite connection between everything that's kind of going on with artificial intelligence. This has to do with what we call uh, uh, with machine learning, which uses, which uses a lot of like algorithms that's part of a, a very advanced mathematics called a linear algebra, which is a has a big um, kind of connection to matrices and stuff and all inverses and all this kind of stuff. So 
anytime you're kind of learning algebra, I know right now maybe you can't see the connection. Like, hey, where is this ever going to, you know, affect my life? Well, I'm telling you right now, mathematics is everywhere. So if you're using any kind of technology, you know, anytime you go on to your onto the internet or anything you do, there's a huge amount of powerful mathematics driving all that. Okay, so uh, anytime you're like, yeah, I'm wasting my time learning this. Well, you know, not really. Okay, someone needs to know this stuff, and maybe it's you. But uh, anyways, if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.